you move your arms and hands when speaking a lot. It's actually kind of distracting. Well, Jay, I don't know why that would be distracting to you if I actually move my... Next. So my video about uh, V-Shred fans listen and learn. Here's a nice reply. At least he doesn't do Jack Paul And this one, which I found slightly unfair. Didn't you get caught blatantly ripping off Athlean X? I think the phrase close but no cigar comes to mind with that one. And then I made a video about Vince and how he doesn't understand what a plank is. And it was just in pure incompetence. And here was a nice reply from a V shredder. These things are so minor. He is right, referring to Vince, about planks. There has been a study about this. And I thought my reply was quite witty. If there is a study, it must be legit. And here's a comment from Faras. I love your way. You are awesome. Excellent. Thank you very much, Faras. But, no, no, let's just stop there, Frass. Just stop there. In every video, there is so much talking that I usually feel bored. You know that talking stuff where you actually have to communicate information? You can provide the same information with much less words and time. Thank you so much, and I wish you keep up good work. Okay, so we finished on a nice note there. Okay, that's, that's, that's fairly reasonable. Oh, you haven't finished, Frass. Also, the sound is not so good. I don't know what is the problem, but you better fix it. Okay, have we stopped there? Nope. My comment is not specifically about this video, but I'm talking generally about all your past videos. So just, he has to be clear there that he's trashing every single video I've made. Thank you very much for us. Very useful. Oh, and this one by Marcelo. So Marcelo is somebody who just just trolled several videos, had a bit of a brain fart and a bit of a personal meltdown. And so, and so this was his comment on my V-Shred video where I start the video by saying, I don't understand why, why fitness professionals can't just be honest. Okay. Just want to address what you said. Make a living off fitness. Excuse me. Big compound lifts, form checks, calories in versus calories out. How do you monetize that? I'm sure you are one of those guys selling cookie cutter programs or promoting supplements. You are no different than V-Shreds or all the other hypocrites like Every Damn Day Fitness or even Athlean X. And so he trolled about three of my videos and then he left a fourth message. I just commented on three videos of yours. I'd appreciate a response. Thank you. So Marcelo, voluntarily watched my free videos and voluntarily chose to troll three of those videos and then in the fourth video demanded his response. In my mind, Marcelo, you look a little something like this. And so here's my response to you, Marcelo. What you probably need is to find something in your life which fulfills you. Do something you love. Now, whether or not that makes money or not is irrelevant. Find something that you love, work on that and create a sense of self-satisfaction and develop your character and your happiness and surround yourself by people who care about you. And then maybe you won't find a need to leave these sort of brain farts on comment, in comment form on channels for people that you've never met. So I made a video about uh, protein synthesis. It was just very basic, non-controversial, just informational really about amino acids and what sort of food groups they're in, etc., and how protein synthesis works. I thought it was not controversial until I read the comments. And this is from Mike Rashid. I don't think it's the real Mike Rashid. Hey man, great content overall. Excellent, I like that. Just a few side notes. Uh oh, okay. Too much BCAAs can actually be bad for you. Increases IGF-1, increases cancer. Okay, number two. Side note number two. Eggs are pure death bombs according to the WHO. Side note number three. No need to obsess over consuming complete proteins. Our bodies actually dump around 80 grams of protein per day. Yada, 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 yada. But my favorite part. If you want me to cite you any scientific data, just let me know. Uh, and then I made a video about how much protein to build muscle. Thank God for YouTube's 1.5 times speed. Thank God for YouTube comments was my reply. Nice clickbait, a bold pencil neck talking to me about how Dorian Yates trained. 
just what I needed. Go uppercut yourself. How do I, how would I, LOL, that was a load of BS, something, something. How this channel dares to call itself sports science is beyond me. It's beyond him. You have a very polite way, okay, I like the sound of this, of stating the obvious that has pretty much been said many times before by much more qualified people, dot, dot, dot. Lane Norton springs to mind, mind, however, for anyone with zero common sense or knowledge, your content is useful. How sweet of you, PT. And so I genuinely find these comments hilarious and I laugh at them and they don't affect me in the way that people m might think when they post them. And I love making these videos. I'm going to make more of these comment videos and because I enjoy them. And I want you, the members of this community who do leave uh, useful input to see the sort of stuff that comes my way. And really my message is this, is that when you make any information, really in any form, whether that's through, through Instagram, YouTube, Facebook, if you're making this content with this conscious process of worrying about likes or dislikes or good comments and bad comments, that will compromise your information. And so I really just believe in making the information that you trust in and that, and that will come through in how your content progresses. And so I want to thank everybody who leaves constructive comments. I do appreciate them. I do try and reply to as many as I can. Thank you for subscribing. I have more videos coming out this week and I'll see you soon.